Good morning, good morning, and welcome uh, to this week's de midweek devotional and prayer. I'm Brian, I'm the pastor at Christ United Methodist Church in Waynesboro, and thank you for joining me. Today is Wednesday, September 30th. Yes, I looked down to make sure I got that date correct. <clears throat> Forgive me. Um, but yes, today is Wednesday, September 30th, 2020, and uh, it's it's time for our Wednesday morning devotional, and thank you for joining. If you're doing it live, uh, maybe you're watching the recording a little bit later or some other time today or some other time during the week. Uh, but anyway, thanks for taking some time out of your busy lives, which I'm sure are very busy to join me. Now, usually I'm coming to you from... Uh, from home, from my home office, I say, <clears throat> either at the dining room table or in my office space. Um, however, this morning, at about 12 after 8, I remembered that I had left my computer at the church office, so I had to scramble a little bit. That's why I'm getting, getting started this morning. Um, Yes, I could have done it on my phone, but I, I need my phone for uh, the scripture. <laughs> uh, it was a little bit easier than, than something else. Anyway, I'm here. Uh, so just a couple quick announcements for you, a couple things to, to mention. Of, of course, uh, worship on Sunday. This is coming money and the meaning of life money and the meaning of life and how the two are connected and you know, that kind of stuff um, so i invite you to to join us either in person here on campus at 8 15 or 10 45 uh, or of course uh, if you're again if you're still if you're uncomfortable with being out in public or in a group something like that perfectly understand Stay home. <laughs> we encourage people to stay home. Join us. Uh, join us digitally, right here on Facebook at 10:45. We only do the 10:45 service. We usually started a couple minutes early on Facebook, the stream, just to give folks a, a chance to uh, the time it might take to to log in to get connected up. So you can start looking for our feed at 10:40. Um, at 10:45 is when the worship experience will begin, and we look forward to that. Now, uh, one other thing about about Sunday's worship, um, especially if you're worshiping at home, we will be doing communion. Uh, so please have something like the uh, communion elements nearby, a, uh, p a piece of bread and a or a cracker, uh, cookie, and uh, a glass of juice or wine. Yes, um, maybe just a sip. Uh, or, or something like that, something that will uh, be the communion elements for you. And also, when you're worshiping at home, I encourage you to create a space for that. Um, we can create sacred space anywhere. True? True. Obviously, for me, I mean, in a church setting, in the sanctuary setting, it's, it's kind of already done for us and the idea of being with others. And we can't completely recreate that at home. However, we can we could do something. You can give yourself a, a focal point, an area to uh, to consider sacred and special uh, for 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 worship. Um, the use of a candle or candles is is great. A Bible, a cross of some form, those kind of things. Have those set up in an in an area right near where you're going to be sitting and and viewing the service. And you can light your candle. We usually light ours before worship starts, so light yours before worship starts. Feel the presence of presence of God, God's Spirit, with you uh, in your in your space. So that's that's it for uh, that. That'll be it for this series. Like I said, it's a series on money. And then we're going to be going to uh, just another two week series, okay? Uh, starting October 11th, so it's going to be October 11th and 18th. Uh, we're going to be doing another two-week series. It's called The Way of Salvation. The Way of Salvation. Because as United Methodists, we think of salvation as a process. Uh, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. What what, uh, what we mean when we say salvation and the way of salvation and the process of salvation. So that's uh, the 11th and the 18th. Then you get a break from listening to me because on the 25th is Laity Sunday. Um, 
and Cindy Hartman, your lay leader, is, is working on that and uh, looking for help. So if you have some ideas, she has some thoughts, but I'm sure she'd be willing to, to listen to what you might have to share, how you can make that a, uh, an amazing experience. And then on November 1st, because that's only a few weeks away, wow, uh, again, you don't have to, you get a break from me because Kathy Boilu, our district superintendent, will be here to, uh, to lead us in worship on that day prior to our church conference, prior to the church conference. Anyway, that's enough for announcements. You didn't come here to listen to that. Um, you came for a devotional. Now, what I've done the last few weeks, um, with, with the exception of the week that I um, was unable to be on because some, some stuff came up, uh, is use my daily verse, the verse of the day from uh, the YouVersion app. Now, um, again, what I've what I've been doing is, as I specified, sometimes when we read just a verse, we're really taking it out of context, and to or better understand it, it's important to read the whole section of which it's a piece. Um, so I'm going to read today's verse, and we'll see what that might mean to us. But then I'm going to expand on it a little bit, okay, and and read more. And it comes to us from Second Peter, chapter one verse 3. So this is right at the beginning. First couple of verses is just Peter uh, with, with his welcome, his his salutation, uh, salutary address to to uh, to whoever this letter was intended, was first intended. And then he gets into his purpose. And the superscription here is Christian life in outline. But the, the verse for today is verse 3, chapter... 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. By his divine power, the Lord has given everything we need for life and godliness through the knowledge of the one who called us by his own honor and glory. I'm going to read that one again. By his divine power, the Lord has given us everything we need for life and godliness through the knowledge of the one who called us by his own 